All right. We should be good. Fucking OBS crashed on me like three times before I fucking could stream. Ugh. All right. OBS fucking kept crashing on me. But, we should be good now. Let's do this. Join me in there? Thank you for volunteering for this important time travel experiment. I'm going to need you to input your profile into the system before we begin. Stand by and I'll bring it up on your monitor. Yeah, Fusion Fall got an update recently. They've, um, they added the past. Which means I can do Road to 20. It's gonna be fucking great. Fusion Fall Retro is a thing. Fusion Fall is not. scan is complete. Let's make sure your communicator is functioning. All communication systems are functional, Dexter. I will be able to reconnect with the volunteer upon arrival in the future. Confirmed, Dexter. All right, I'm powering up the main engine now. You may feel a little fun. Wow, have you seen these meetings? A fine day for science indeed. Prepare for launch. Ooh, Three, what does this two, button do? What? Baby! So you're watching Ponder stream that night. Should you be surprised at the topic of robot discrimination with these discussed? No, not at all. Holy cannoli! Where did you come from? Not now, number five. We gotta move. Follow us. Initiate training. Please move the... Good. Excellent. Very... Use the WA... Good. Move backwards. Very good. While moving, you can steer left and right by using the mouse. Try... Excellent. I'm fine, Joshua, by the way. Side by using or Josh. To jump, press the space bar. To jump forward, hold the... Tell 
how much damage you are doing by looking at your target's health bar at the top of your screen. turn back into fusion matter when you beat them. Make sure you collect as much as you can. It's real important stuff. You will automatically collect fusion matter from defeated enemies. The amount of fusion matter you have is displayed in the fusion matter meter. As you defeat more enemies, your fusion matter meter will continue to fill up. Warning, more hostiles incoming. We've got more company. It's a Cyberus. Let's take it down. What are my thoughts on the current drama between Robot and uh, Darkseid? I don't care. Nice shoes, by the way. Now, I just realized who you are. You're the kid from the past Dexter told us about. Well, you're in a world of trouble now. Look up in the sky. That's Planet Fusion, ruled by some nasty guy named Fusion. You've just covered the world with gross green goo, and those disgusting fusion spawns are wrecking everything! Fusion monsters have evolved and adapted to our planet. You should see some of them. They use things called terrafusions to infect everything with goo. If the infection gets bad enough, Planet Fusion will absorb our world. Now that you're up to speed, can you go help number two? We gotta go help the others. I need some help with a super important mission. Report to me right away. Your communicator comes with a built-in MIDI mark. It will show you how to reach <coughs> number two. You are the marker in the center of the internet. Look for the glowing energy ring to help you find number two. To talk to number two, get close to him and center him on your screen. A talk symbol will appear. Then, click the left mouse button. Characters with This attack was no accident. An oil ogre is using a transmitter to broadcast our position. We need to find that monster and get that transmitter. You ready? To effectively exit the mission room, your mission's current objective is displayed on your screen. Your first task is to defeat the oil ogre that stole the transmitter. Use your mini map to locate your target. Completed your first task. Your mission journal has updated. The opening of your mission journal contains information on all your missions. It tells you who gave you the mission. It tells you what you need to do. It also tells you the reward you will receive once you complete the mission. Click the X in the X. Your new task is to deliver the transmitter to number two. Note that your current objective has been updated and a new red marker has been set to number two. Click on number two to talk with him and update your mission. Characters with a mission are set to complete the task. We're ready for Nano, and I need your help. I think Dexter's in trouble. Congratulations. By select button. Dexter has disappeared. We've got to see if he's in the infected zone. I'll check out here. There's no time to lose. The most infected areas on the planet are called infected zones. Thanks to Fusion's Terrafuser machines, fusion matter is totally out of control inside. Ha! Huh. Good thing Dexter set up energy shields to contain the infection. Your new task is to enter the infected zone and use the warp gate. Target the blue Dexter. Oh, no, no, are you stand by? I am trapped in Fusion Buttercup Lair! Quickly, find the fusion portal! Use the floating platform to get across. You can enter a fusion portal the same now. Click the warp button to enter. Yeah, anyone can play this. You made it. I am over here. Come talk to me. Select. This is you. I knew we would meet again. That stupid Seaster messed up the time jump sequence and destroyed the time capsule. We need to get you back to the past so you can save our world. Fusion Buttercup is in the next room. We must stop her before she can cause any more damage. Fusions are dark, twisted versions of this planet's heroes. Created by Fuse himself. They are extremely dangerous, but I think you can handle them. Is it US only? I don't know. Let's go! I don't think so. Uh, 
Have I considered speedrunning this game? Uh, it's been years. You have made your first nano. Like fusion, nanos are made of fusion matter. You have used the fusion matter you collected in your fusion matter needle to create nano buttercup. Don't be discouraged by her size. She may be small, but she is powerful. Your communicator is now a nano kind. It has the ability to store up to three nanos. Whoa! That does not sound good. You can escape the Dex Labs using the warp gate I have set up. I must search this area and make sure Fusion Buttercup did not steal anything from my headquarters. Go to the warp gate to exit the area. did great, but it looks like Buttercup and the rest weren't able to handle those other Terrafusers in time. Dexter says we gotta find Mandark so we can rebuild the time machine and send you back to the past. Let's get out of here! Despite our best efforts, Tech Square has been lost. But this war is not over yet. Not by a long shot! Our time-traveling friend here is just the hero we need. Between Mandark and number two, I am sure you will be able to rebuild my time capsule. Don't worry about me. I will be fine. Get back to Sector V and to safety. Dexter, out! Alright, everyone. Next stop, Hero Squared Sector V. Dude, I can't wait for... Dude, I can't wait for Fusion Fall Legacy to come out as well. Cause Fusion Fall Retro is not the only recreation of Fusion Fall. Like, Retro is not the only one. There's also one that's called Fusion Fall Legacy, and it's basically gonna be like Retro, but it's gonna update for a more like modern thing. So I'm like. Can't wait for that to happen, cause I'll be able to play that as well. But that one's gonna take a lot longer, considering they're like adding all of this other stuff to it. When will Fusion Fall Legacy come out? I don't know, I don't expect it for at least another two years. Like... I've been waiting for Retro to come out. Like, Retro already took, like, two years to come out. Legacy I expect to take longer.
What are your thoughts on Total Drama Rama? It is really boring. Like, I don't even hate it. It's just, it's really boring. It doesn't keep my interest. I don't care. Full Drama Rama is just such a nothing show. Oh, this is definitely something that was actually good. I loved Fusion Fall growing up. I, I played Fusion Fall more than I played EverQuest growing up. <laughs> like, hmm, boy. You don't even know the half of it. What kind of stuff are they going to include in Fusion Fall Legacy? I don't know. I haven't heard very much from Fusion Fall Legacy in a while. Oh cool, we're already ready for the number 2 mana. Actually, the first stream that I did coming back to Twitch was a Fusion Fall stream. So, just a heads up, like, I've already done, like, I did Fusion Fall Retro, that's where, where my other character came in. Um, I did an entire stream on that. So that was posted on the Doodle Shows channel, whereas this one's going to be posted on the Doodle Streams channel. I mean, you're, you're fine, Gus Eva. Is this still the tutorial? Yeah, the tutorial. We're gonna be in the tutorial f until like level four. <clears throat> That's gonna take about two hours on its own. Wait. Oh, I'm supposed to go to the training area. Okay. Yeah, no, we're gonna be in the tutorial until we get to level four, and then we head to the head to the past, and uh, then we can we can do Road to Twenty. It's one of the longer tutorials I've played in an MMO. But that also means we're going to be on Fusion Fall Retro for a very long time, which I am perfectly okay with. What's the longest tutorial I've had to deal with with an MMO? 
Um, probably EverQuest, because EverQuest, uh, EverQuest during the tutorial until I think about level 10. So... Have I ever tried to get a shiny Pokemon? I have never gotten a shiny Pokemon. A shiny Pokemon has never appeared to me before. Um, at least unless we're talking about the red Gyarados from Gen 2, but I don't count that. But a shiny Pokemon has never showed up before. I've never had that happen. In all the years that I've played Pokemon, a shiny Pokemon has never showed up. Yeah, it's a small number too. Catch you later. Just notice Mega says Coop and Jamie in the game? Yes, they are. But we're not going to get to them until a lot later. <laughs> number two equals small. E equals small number two. Get it out. Why is that deformed number two floating next to me? Because he is my, he is my nano. He is my friend. Okay, so this computer doesn't seem to have a mission for me. Number two. So we'll just go ahead and Go do shenanigans. But yeah, no, we're not gonna get to we're not gonna get to Coop and uh Jamie until a lot later. But they are in the game. Actually I don't even know if we're gonna get to them in Road to 20, but I can do like a side thing. I can maybe do like a, a series off of Road to 20 where I just keep playing through Fusion Fall, because I am I would not be against that at all. I, I fucking love this game. Like, holy shit. What about the Ed Boys? Oh yeah, no, we're gonna see them ra rather early on. Like, we're gonna see Eddie within the tutorial. So we're probably gonna see Eddie, like, this stream. But yeah, the uh, Ed and Eddie are definitely in here. <clears throat> in fact, Eddie's my next nano. Like, the, number, or the, the level 3 nano is Eddie. So we're gonna get him rather early on. Um, and then Double D is a, uh, Double D is a goddamn guide, so, 
We we could we could work for Double B. We can also work for Ben, Dexter, and I think Mojo Jojo. Um so we'll figure out who we want to work for when we get to that part though, when we get to that point. Personally, I would prefer working for either Ben or uh Dexter. Because they give you some pretty interesting uh missions. Mojo doesn't really give you too terribly much I care about, and um and Double B, I don't remember very many of the missions from Double B. <laughs> Ever since I was seven, I wanted to see Eddie as a chibi anime boy. Yeah, you're gonna see it, like, within this stream. We're definitely gonna get there. This is gonna be two hours. Like, we got- we- we had to reset everything because the stream kept- or the stream crashed, like, twice. So... Um... We'll get everything all set up and... Or we, we had to get everything all set up, so it's like, it's gonna take two hours for us to finish this stream. So we're definitely gonna get there. When we get there. This should be... That should be rather easy, rather quick. Number two. It's, me. it's all small Blossom. Blossom is like the level 5 nano. Catch you, later. Want a mission? you probably did- You probably actually didn't see Blossom in this. Cause Blossom is a- is a past nano. Not a future one. I don't. At least I don't think so. I, I gotta talk to Mandark and Genius Grove already. Oh, that is way too fucking far right now. That's a level four area. I don't know if the glitch is still here. So I'm just gonna turn off the number two nano as I go through. Cause there was a glitch in uh in the early stages of this where if you had like number two still on and you uh switched regions from like Pokey Oaks North to like Pokey Oaks South or something, it would crash the game. So, I gotta remember to keep that in mind. I'll set you loose. I knew you were a creator. You ready for a mission? Thing hurting you turns you into a sound cloud rapper. Yeah, they do, they do kind of look like, uh, Powerpuff Girl Z. Wait, hold on. Okay, yeah. I'm supposed to go down here and... They'll probably include new characters in Legacy. I think that's kind of the idea.
thoughts on Clarence? Clarence was a pretty okay show. Kind of underappreciated, honestly, I think. Like, it wasn't nearly as bad as some people made it out to be. You ready for a mission? You're getting grass, okay? Disney has Kingdom Hearts Cartoon Network has Fusion Fall. What does Nickelodeon have? Oh, clearly. It has, like, Nicktoons Unite, and it's got, um... It, it's got Nicktoons Unite. It's got, a uh, fucking... Uh... Attack of the Toy Bots. Um... Globs of Doom. Uh... Nicktoons Racing. Um... Fucking... I think there was another one. That's <laughs> something good. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. Attack of the Toy Bots isn't bad. Attack of the Toy Bots is not a, a terrible... It's not a terrible... Game. Nicktoons on Volcano Island. That's the other one, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Attack of the Toy Bots wasn't terrible. I guess I can't say it was terribly great either, but... Nice if it did the KMD sequel. Pro I mean, yeah. What was it? The creator wants to do one, so I mean. There was a sequel to the racing one. I saw that, like, just earlier this week. Um, I was kind of surprised, honestly. I thought that fucking the first one bombed. But no, there's a second one. There's a sequel to Nicktoons Racing. Oh, that's all the way back to Sector V. That can fuck right off right now. <sighs> now we'll go and do that one. Saw small Eddie in the menu. Yep. Uh, we'll be going for him here in a bit. I want to finish this mission because this is so far out of the way.
you later. Oh, see ya. And if the kids next time stand up, just fly from one place to another. Hey, I got a message for you. At both ends of the week, before you can move. Was anyone disappointed with life when they turned 13 and could never join the KMB? Oh, hell yeah. I definitely was. That's just the kind of kid I was. What'd you miss? Nothing much. What were we talking about? Uh, kids next door stuff. God, ten years ago, I was eleven. Fucking shit, man. Alright, see you, Josh. Oh, this is a timed one. Okay. Uh, ten years ago, I was eleven. Fucking shit, man, that's... It's fucking crazy to think about. This game came out about ten years ago or so. Man, oh fucking man. Well, okay, not this one in particular. This one in particular is rather new, but, like, the original game for this? The original Fusion Fall came out, it had to have been at least ten years ago. Yeah, I know, the, ri the original Xbox is now considered a retro console. Although, I started feeling old when the Nintendo 64 got considered a retro game. Uh, when the Nintendo 64 got considered retro gaming. That happened a few years back. So, <laughs> oof.
Welcome to the feel old stream. <laughs> Jesus fuck. Where's Road Golems? All the way down there. Okay, we're on the right path. I don't want to go to a new area for uh, for uh, old area missions. Huh. There's random bubbling in the ground. Wait, are we making a pizza by killing these fusions? Anybody home? I'm not making a pizza out of the fusion. I'm killing these noxious spawns for uh, for mushrooms. But these noxious spawns, I think, have mushrooms. So like, yeah, yeah. mushrooms. That burrows all the way over here. Okay. Hey, it's number two. Pickles? Putting pickles on a pizza? Excuse me? Yeah, but the mayor's dead in the future. Keyword in the future, because he actually does exist in the past. We'll probably see him later as well. And I remember when, uh, when old Fusion Fall was still around. Uh, old Fusion Fall, uh, yeah, the mayor's dead in the future. He's, he's old. But in the, the past, he's still there. I mean... Like, again, we'll see him later. He exists in the game. Like, when Old Fusion Fall was around, I reached, like, level... 20, I wanna say... 
26. I think I got to level 26 when I last played this. Uh, at least in full. Um. Let's see. Yeah, I remember the mayor being there. Number two? Anybody home? Yo, KNG! Fantastic! Bye bye We're gonna have enough for like two, uh, two fusion or two nano missions, like one after another. Oh shit. Damn it. I was gonna do something impressive and then I fucked it up. <laughs> you know what? That's just life. Did my mic buzz out? I'm sorry. Um, sometimes that happens whenever my computer, uh, uh, whenever my computer is, like, rendering a bunch.
Do I just start the game? Um, yeah, I started a new character, but I've I've played. I uh, mean, man, I played this game back when it was still just Fusion Fall. <laughs> But yeah, I have just started the game. Uh, we've been going on for about 50 minutes now. So yeah, we want to go to the cul de sac. Just generally speaking, where we want to go next. How awesome would it be to have a crossover between the cast of 16 and Total Drama? We got that! It's called Total Drama Rama! A scavenge nano and pull it out every time you turn into mission. 20% more fusion matter per mission. Well, that's fine. I don't need it. Trust me, I really don't need it. Did I hear someone already beat the game? I'm not at all surprised. <laughs> Are you kidding? There are so many people who loved this game back in the day. I'm not surprised that someone spent as much time as they did to beat the game. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck, if I had that time, I totally fucking would. You never got off the game. Oh, yeah, no, if I had that... Dude, if I had the time and willpower, I would do that. That would be me. <laughs> I gotta return to number five. Okay, well, we'll do that here in a bit. Well, actually, it's very out of the way, so I might as well do it now. If I had the time and willpower, that would be me. I just never get off the game. Just play it for two days straight. I totally fucking would do that. But I don't have the time, nor do I have the willpower, so... <laughs> do you need warps or something? Nah, I'm fine. Nah, as I said, I, I used to play this game a lot growing up. I got up to, like, level... 26 as a kid. I think? 26 sounds about right. Um... Like... I know a little bit more about what I'm doing here than I do in other games. I grant you, it has been years, so... Maybe. Well, okay. Not necessarily years, because I played the, uh, I played the future when the game first hit, uh, early stages. Like, when it was first announced that we could play it. I did a, like, a two-hour stream where I just finished up the, uh, where I finished up the future. So this will be the first time in seven years? Six or seven years. It'll be the first time in six or seven years that I, uh, do, that I do anything in the past. But, uh, man... I'm, that's gonna be such a fucking trip when we get there. Of course, I'm only gonna be doing this for two hours, so I'm not, probably not gonna get to the past this stream. Might be next stream. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Wild good luck, though, yeah. Yeah. Hello, Yuki Bloodborne Gaming. Alright. So there should be missions for me here, yeah. I'm going to 
and sell some things too while we're at it. Thank you for the bit. Yuki is currently the bit. Uh, Yuki Bloodborne Gaming is currently the bitty faster. Call me Yuki. I already know someone who's named Yuki though. <laughs> I don't know if you're the same Yuki. Might be the same Yuki. Does anyone remember Stoked? I vaguely do. <laughs> You're already in the past and future fall retro? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna get there eventually. <laughs> At the moment, I'm kind of... You wanna... You know, I, I kind of just got started like an hour ago, so... Dragon Blood. I did not sell that. Hold on. I guess I must have. Oh well. We'll get another one later, I guess. Hello, Silver Cloak. The one with the shark, yeah. All the way in Ghost Junk there. Jesus fuck. Okay. Do that later then. That one's closer. Was it like a pet shark on Stoke? No, it was the... What was it? It was the hotel mascot. It was great. It was the best character on the show. I don't remember any of the other characters on the show. <laughs> so that's probably not even true. But... It was the only one I gave a shit about, so... Till further notice! Until further notice.
shark on stoked. Yeah, there was like a little guy who was always in a mascot costume for a shark, and he was the he was the mascot for the hotel that uh, that you know stoked took place at. He's the only character I bothered to remember on the show. He was a minor character. show you how much I gave a shit about Stoked. Hello. Does anyone care about Stoked? Probably not. What is Stoked? Stoked was a show that was by the same people who did uh, Total Drama in 16. <laughs> it was the other show that they did. No one gave a shit about it. Zero people. I am calling it now. There's not a single person out there who actually gave a shit about Stoked. The Surfer Show, yeah. No one gave a shit about that. Even someone who was fans, or even someone who was a fan of both Sixteen and Total Drama, I never cared about Stoked. I never fucking cared about Stoked. Man, the stoked fan base doesn't exist. <laughs> I don't even know I don't even know if I would call it bad per se, Master Shadow. But really fucking forgettable is definitely how I would describe that show. Kung Fu or Chop Soggy Chooks, you know, or, yo, you kids watched a real 90s show like Skunk Fu or Chop, uh, Chop Soggy Chooks, you know, shows that were not made in the 90s. Shows that were early 2000s shows. Actually, mid 2000s shows. I remember Skunk Fu in like, what, 2007, 2008? That's the point. Oh, okay. I barely remember Chop, so chop Soggy's Chooks. Chop Suey Chooks. I thought it was Chop Soggy Chooks. Nobody knows what Chop Chooks was called. <laughs> yeah. It was 2007. No, it wasn't. You're lying. Okay, you might not be. I don't know. I don't remember if it was any good or not. <laughs> Barely even remember what it was. Uh, what it was called. 
so I don't know if I have much room to speak. Making Fiends? Oh man, that one show that I heard a lot of good things about, but I've never watched myself. I've heard a lot of really good things about Making Fiends. The Life and Times of Juniper Lee? Oh, fuck yeah. I actually do really remember that show. It was a good show. Actually, I think Juniper Lee is in this game as well. Like, I think that's going to be another one that we're going to wind up reaching at one point. Who's Juniper Lee? Juniper Lee is a character uh, who could see a bunch of monsters that no one else could. Like, that was the, that was the show. Uh, there was a bunch of, like, weird creatures and monsters and demons and whatever, and, uh, Juniper was, Juniper was the only one that could see them. None of the other humans could. I should be falling to my death right about now. Look at this. Grandma and her brother see them. I think I remember that too. Yeah, I think Grandma and brother could also see them. But the the whole thing was 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 based on that idea, that concept. Thank you. Oh God! Remember Best Ed? No, I don't. Game show three people and three cartoons for amazing prizes. Prizes? Um. I don't remember that at all, actually. Well, I might. I might remember the name, but I don't remember the show. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh god. Holy shit. Okay. I used to. 